sudden unexplained international lapse of amnesia. Let me remind you, prior to the 16th century, civilizations before the Dark Ages had used a complex and sophisticated method of arithmetic that compared to the likes of Einstein, Newton and Galileo would have been ridiculed out of the classroom and placed into detention for being so disruptive and so slow learners. And that's putting it mildly. We were given E's, M's, squares, gravity, black holes, parallel universes. Yet somehow we have seemingly regressed. We are no better off than those who lived many years ago. For those of you who thought movies like Back to the Future got it wrong on where we should have been in the year 2015 in terms of technological advancements, you may have to rethink that thought and realize we have been kept back a whole lot more than you might like to think. We can all have the brains, intellect and insight in the world, but without the technology, we can only work with what we have at the time. For example, we have the technology today, but we don't have the brains to utilize for capability of the materials we have at our exposure. And back then, before the 16th century, they had the brains, but limited resources to work with. But whatever they found, they used the materials to its maximum potential. Whether you want to build a physical model or a mathematical model, you need to know why. And the people who believe in the heliocentric model have built a mathematical model without any good reason. Unless you include mass indoctrination as that reason. Whether from the dynasties of China, connecting the dots to the pharaohs of Egypt, or transiting over the lands of South America, they all knew the Earth was a flat, motionless plane. They had to know. Their whole lives depended on knowing. These craftsmen were serious architects, so serious in fact that they ventured to construct monuments that precisely line up with the sun, moon and stars to an astonishing degree of accuracy. If the Earth were truly a rotating sphere, then those megalithic monuments across the Earth would never have been able to have been constructed in the way that we see them lining up with the constellations. According to the heliocentric model, stars in the northern hemisphere rotate in the opposite direction to those in the southern hemisphere. This, however, is not true, and there is no proof for such an observation. Men built buildings according to the stars. A form of multiplications were being used to map the stars and galaxies without the aid of a telescope. The arithmetic that was being used prior to the Dark Ages is a complete mystery for today's top mathematician. There is even a reward of six million dollars if they can be worked out. Let that sink in. The math being used today to try and explain where we live is obsolete. It explains very little and has kept us chasing our tails for 500 years. How are we to believe today's science and math when they struggle to do anything marvelous or miraculous with it? We still haven't figured out how to get a rocket above 120,000 feet or design a building that can stand for more than 100 years without collapsing in on itself. Yet we are to believe today's science and math has given us a working model to explain the cosmos and where we live. If the most intelligent people that ever lived on Earth say that the Earth is flat and then proceed to build buildings according to the dimensions and the size of the Earth using calculus that will tell them precisely where to align the buildings with the stars, 
and the great architect himself, that is, God of the Bible, says we are on a flat, motionless earth, and mentioned it in scripture, and we know there was a huge gap in time where all important knowledge was forgotten, and we know it would be impossible for countries in the north and south of an imaginary equator to construct stone observatories with astounding precision with the stars rotating in opposite directions. We cannot even attempt to comprehend the extreme practice of mathematics that was used by the constellation builders. No one born this side of the 16th century has even come close to replicating the former knowledge. So who are we to believe? Who should we trust? Well, it was apparent and accepted the earth was flat right up until the 16th century. And then something happened. Something so devastating it would set us back hundreds if not thousands of years. The travesty that took place between the 14th and 16th century gave the opportunity to sort power and press the reset button. For the next 500 years, your past, present and future would be written and regulated by sea merchants and pirates. A community born out of the Dark Ages, inspired by Athena, brimming with superstition. A quest for reparation, determined to secure its future based upon fiction, deception, lies and deceit. Fully committed to being a pagan, these strategically colonized countries were not simply to loot gold, kidnap a few million slaves, or send criminals down under. The entire operation was purely based to solidify the outer perimeter of the flat earth. That meant shipping men off to the Americas with accounts of gold and oil, navigating the north declaring a stake firmly around the pole, claiming a stranglehold in the deep South Africa with stories of diamonds and jewels, and swarming Australia with tales of down under criminals and corruption. Any anecdote to fit the narrative had to be portrayed so the flat earth could be marshalled and disputed. And if that meant wiping out entire populations to keep things quiet, so be it. And that's the way it was until the late 1900s, when they were satisfied the entire borders of the flat earth was covered by a military advantage. The lies taught in the textbook are just that lies in the textbook. The numbers are wrong. It would be almost impossible to create a fully functioning working flat earth model with our current method of trigonometry, arithmetic and calculus. The earth is flat. It is just unfortunate we don't have the technology to get high enough to see the entire flat earth. the conventional archaeological story at all. There are many magnetic anomalies here that we are going to explore today, which standard archaeology doesn't even look at. thousand years ago. They found a beautifully flat surface and decided to etch their figures into it. It is astonishing. which could have been part of the original function of the site as well, possibly, as how 
it was transported in the first place. So we are now, all of us, rewriting the history of humanity